Hi YouTube, I'm making this video for Andy who asked me a question about how I installed my solar panels on my Vantec roof rack and whether the T-slot runs the full length under the crossbar. Let me tell you what I bought. I believe I bought the H3 ladder rack for the Promaster van, which looks like this. Underneath here, holding the arm on plus the solar panels are, are these things called double sliders, which hold the carriage bolt here, and they slide in the side of the crossbar, and the crossbar is aluminum, so what these do is prevent the aluminum from getting damaged by just screwing a carriage bolt in there and probably bending the aluminum. So let me go and show you how I did this. So I have two pieces of L bracket. One comes down and goes across, the other goes across and down, and they are attached to each other. And then the solar panels were just this foldable thing that I screwed into the side of it and have it bolted on in numerous locations. So the solar panel is attached to this L bracket. This L bracket and this L bracket are held together with screws below, which hopefully I can show you right here. There's one, there's another down there, and there's another down there. And then, I shouldn't say screws, they're bolts. Then, this whole contraption is held on by, so this is the bottom L bracket, and there's another L bracket that comes up and holds the solar panel, but it doesn't rest underneath here, it starts in back of the thing. These two bolts here only hold the rack on. There's a metal plate that slides in here, right there, with two carriage bolts stuck in it. And that's what holds on, that's what holds the rack on to the arm here. Then I, prior to sliding that plate in, with the two carriage bolts. I slid another plate in with two carriage bolts and that is right here and this one does nothing really but this one holds the L bracket to the rack. I used to have these wings that screwed into here and stuck straight up. I've had no trouble with the canoe staying in place and it's actually a little bit hard to get your canoe up and over that so I have removed those and I'm just using this plastic cap on the end. Okay, so hopefully you can see how I did this. This is the one L bracket. This is the second L bracket that comes down here. They're held together with these screws. This one's loose. I better tighten that. Then the solar panel is held on from the side. So this has a frame and it's held on from the side. This L bracket only goes to here. The rest of the L bracket goes all the way back to the back and all the way to the front. This L bracket up above and the solar panel only go to the very beginning of the rack. They don't go underneath the rack right over there. So hopefully that shows you how this is held on. Back here I have a slider and two carriage bolts holding the rack onto the arm and then a slider and two carriage bolts with only one carriage bolt doing anything to hold on the L bracket onto the rack. And I have rubber end caps the whole way down. 